so hello everybody welcome back so uh, a quick video on uh, some items that I have in my kitchen some of them I do not know the name or whatever but you know and um, anyway this is a requested video so I hope this uh, covers some of the things because quite frankly I'm not going to show you my entire kitchen but um, anyway so before I continue, I wanted to remind you that uh, you can send an Amazon gift card uh, in the email that I have down below. You can uh, send a donation through PayPal and you can buy my books in Gumroad. And I have a couple of other videos on the Amazon wish list. And um, anyway, I just wanted to uh, let you know that I appreciate all the help that I can get. So anyway, <clears throat> so number one, I have this is for holding the doors. Uh, quite frankly, you know, when you are in the kitchen or in the garden or whatever, if the door, you know, accidentally, you know, locks and then you're, you know, uh, handling stuff, it, it can cause problems. So uh, we have several of these ones, you know, it's kind of old, but it works perfectly. Also, that one is very important to have to avoid lo locking yourself out. So this one is uh, a lock. That, that works for uh, when, when I have uh, my kid that was a toddler and everything. But it also, I found it that it also keeps cabinets together, you know, uh, in case of a small earthquake or something. So I really like it because it doesn't have a lock. Uh, there are some of these that actually have locks. So I don't know. I just, you know, I, li I like these ones. So my tea thing, this is where I put my leaves, you know, and then I press it like that. And then I put it in the cup and then I remove it and then I just throw it in the compost or whatever uh, you know if I'm making the compost because lately I'm not doing the compost um, my tea presser when I have a bag and it's too hot I just grab it like that press it really hard and you know squeeze it like that so that I don't have to deal with you know my hands uh, this hammer is uh, for a woman obviously because I'm small and uh, it's very useful in the kitchen, especially with meat and other things, you know. There is heavier versions and stuff like that. They are for men, obviously. And also I have an ax, but my mom hid it. I don't know where it is. My mom hid it because my daughter is lately opening all the drawers. So, yeah, I'll find it. But the, the, the ax that I have is especially for the kitchen, obviously. And it is very small. Uh, because, you know, it is for me. I'm a woman. You know, and every time that a guy comes over, like my, my mother's friend or the neighbor or whoever, and they want to cook, they are looking at this and they say something like, this? I can't even grab this. What the hell? <laughs> so, yeah, my kitchen tools are for women that are small or, or, you know. I have some that are a little bit bigger because my mother is, you know, normal size or whatever. But, you know, anyway. This one. Um... Like I said, you are supposed to take the Tetra Pak uh, containers for use and then you can cut it into pieces that are, you know, square or whatever. And then you can put it into lines and this is for fire. Every time that I have to put fire from one place to the other one, uh, the, the napkins will, will burn too fast and they will not melt, you know, they will not uh, burn the way that I want them to be or whatever. And this one won't melt and it, it you know, it can put fire and I can take a time and it's, it's better to do this, you know. So I cut it in several pieces. So uh, I can use three, no, two. Two uh, use containers for about a year, you know, when I cut it into pieces like that. Obviously this was longer, this was about, you know, this size. But, um, you know, whatever, if you are in the countryside, yeah, you probably want to have at least like, you know, cut it like in, in squares or lines or mix it or whatever. And you want to have at least 12 because in the countryside, this is used like insane, like insane, insane, insane. It's just in the countryside, you need more fire than, than in the city, but at least from here. And then I have this, which is for... Uh, I do not know the name. This is for, um, you know, uh, preparing the fish. Because, you know, now if you're going to buy fresh fish and fish that uh, has uh, skin and stuff, you might, need, you might need this too. This one, uh, you know, is special. My mother uses a lot. 
uh, when we because now if you if you're used to buying everything in cans and stuff and now you can't afford it and now you need to prepare everything by yourself you need to cut everything by scratch and you need to do everything by scratch yeah you need you will need a hell of a lot of tools and uh, then I have this which is the things that we I use for um, holding things that are hot if you are using a regular cloth yeah that thing is going to burn you the same <laughs> and that thing can catch fire this one uh, doesn't catch fire as easy and it has this handle so basically it has two handles and then I can put things in you know in here with both hands and it's good uh, there is one version that has plastic on it we do not like it because it can catch fire it gets greasier it no no, no. and then I have this one for holding pans and stuff uh, which is you know um, very important because you're handling hot stuff and then I have the glove which is for using the oven and things like that and then I have the one of the most important items that you really really want to get and you really want to get about 12 of these this is a 1.5 liter bottle it contains juice one in a, once in a time uh, and then uh, we uh, prepare it we cleaned it we let, with one drop of chlorine and then um, you know we store them now we fight my mother and me about how many of these things to store I always want to store at least 12 to 16 but we do not have that much space so we store eight in our freezer like like the uh, we have a freezer with uh, fruits and stuff that we that we process and then we put these things on the on the walls so that they will frost because if there is a power outage and you have several of these these will keep water cool you know we keep it with potable water and also because every time that you have somebody that comes over and they are going to take a trip or they are working or whatever uh, or let's say that they are passing by and they are going through another you know to another due to another party or whatever then they will they, especially men oh hell they never carry water in their in their cars and in their trucks and stuff so uh, they might need to have that water also every time that we have somebody coming over with a box or a delivery or something we give them one of these things uh, we also give this to the trash uh, services people and uh, we also give them to uh, other people that are doing services to us like the gardener or technicians or whatever and the reason for this one in particular versus the other one is because this plastic see is thick you want the plastic to be kind of thick because if it is the plastic that it is too thin like the regular water bottles which is too thin that thing will break as soon as you you know you knock it over or whatever this one will last a long time and like I said you have to be willing to part with them and um, this one also will act as an ice if you keep them frozen this one will act as an ice uh, for when you are traveling and when you are uh, using it for an ice chest so for example if you're sending food to somebody uh, even if it is 20 minutes away from you um, you want to have some sort of ice because you never know if there is a, a problem uh, a power outage a roadblock or whatever and then you know that food is going to go bad because you didn't have ice so every time that you have that you put two of these ones in the ice chest you put the food and then this one will, will help it will help it to be very very cold and it will melt uh, and when it melts it you know it's potable water and then you have this as an emergency potable water thing which is very very important because when you have a power outage and you don't have a freezer or a fridge working you need this so my mother I always want 12 to 16 bare minimum my mother always wants 6 to 8 and sometimes we spend the eight in one single day and then I go kind of like this is why I told you that we need more <laughs> but uh, it, it will all depend upon you know the space that you have available like I said we have eight of these in the freezers that are always there uh, and they are the ones that you know I keep changing and interchanging or whatever and then I have a couple of more that are on the regular freezer just you know just for the heck of it because you know if I need it uh, you know like I said if there is a power outage 
that is going to last three or four days. Nobody's going to call you to your house and say, yeah, you know, tomorrow at 1 p.m. there is going to be a problem with electricity. So hell no, you got to deal with that thing. And if it is not frozen already, then you have problems. And um, this one, in case that you need the ice, you can also use a knife to break it. And then you can take all the ice and it is a solid uh, block. Some people will freeze this one with a little bit of salt because it will last longer if there is a power outage. If you do that, then you need to put here, this one contains salt. And they use it for when they are cooking. So, I don't know, it will depend upon you. And if you want this water to last you even longer during a power outage, then don't do it just potable. Then do it potable and then uh, you boil it. Because when you boil it, and then you, you filter it and you boil it. And then you wait until, you know, it's cool and then you freeze it. That way it will last you, uh, uh, let's say that this one, if it is frozen, lasts one day. The one that it is totally like uh, filtered and boiled before this process, it will last you a day and a half. So it depends upon, you know, how willing you are to go, you know, about the heat situation in case that there is a power outage and stuff like that. So I don't know. But the point is that this is very, very, very important. And we use these ones that are recycled as in, you know, and we, we, we can give them away easily. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know all that. I hope that this, you know, covers a little bit of the things. And um, thank you for watching.